In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. What do you mean, found me? We're playing hide and seek. Are we? I thought we were playing statues. Well, Zero and One knew what the game was. Because they're definitely hiding. So you're found. All right then, you hide. Right, you try and find me. I'm going to start counting. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Shall I hide here? Seven, eight. Or here? Nine, ten. I'll hide here. Coming ready or not? Yes, I'll hide here. Oh, yes, this is a good place. He'll never find me here. Great, lovely. Just the job. Three. I can see you. You're found. Oh, that was quick. That's because I could hear you. Oh, I forgot about that. We still haven't found zero and one, though. I'll find them. Might go again. Don't look. Of course not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Hang on. I can see you four. Found you, found you. Yes, but you didn't count probably up to ten that time. So? You missed out nine. It's eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're not very good at this game, are we? No, but zero and one are. Can't find them anywhere. We'll have to find them later. Come on! <laughs> Not for long. There's a problem with grumpy mums. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Everyone has that problem sometimes. Yes, your mum's bound to be grumpy now and again. He can handle one grumpy mum, but he's got loads of them. <laughs> that does look like a problem. OK. Who's going out there? I'm up for it. OK, Five. It's you this time. Good luck. OK, get ready for launching. <laughs> We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who's going out there? Number five. <laughs> Checking the room's empty. All clear. OK, let's go! Looking for a fire to land on. Finding a five. Found a five. Everything all right, five? 
Everything's fine. Go and help that boy. There he is. And all his grumpy mums. We better find out how many mums there are. I think there are about ten. Be good to know exactly how many. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, three. There are ten mums, five. <laughs> Agent 52 here. We've got more problems. What's been going wrong, Agent 52? Have a look. See what's going on. Agent's coming in. Agent 61 here. One thing keeps on turning into lots of things. Count them. Is it the same number every time? Got the pictures on screen. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And five apples. And five more. That's ten. And five marks. And five marks. That's ten. OK, we know we've got ten of everything, but why? Hang on. I just heard something. Listen. Can't find me. That's number one, somewhere out here. No wonder we couldn't find her when we played hide and seek. Everyone looking for number one. Keep your eyes open. I bet I'll find her. There she is! You'll have to get after her, Five. But wait, listen. Can't find me. Zero's out there too. Better find Zero first. Is that Zero? Ooh. Five, you'll have to get one and Zero. But our problem was about ten things. I've got a number ten on screen. Hmm. hmm. Better get after them anyway. They headed out to the park. OK. There's one and there's zero. Zero's going up to one. I think we've got ten things again. I've got it on screen. One and zero get together. And there's the number ten. I've got to stop one and zero getting together and making the number ten or anything could happen. Instead of a monster with one head, it would have ten heads. Or there might be ten dancing cows. But if one sun was turned into ten suns, it would be far too hot and everything would die. <coughs> There they are again! They're getting together. Oh, you've got to keep what? one and zero away from each other. Let's send some brain game. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain away to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. One and zero, keep them away from each other. Keep one and zero away from each other. Keep them away. <laughs> 
Sorted. Phew. You better get them and bring them back. I've spotted them again. Now what are they up to? That's all right. They're supposed to be ten green bottles standing on the wall. I think they're moving apart this time. What's going to happen to the bottles if they do? Agent's calling in. If one's left over out without zero, there won't be ten bottles anymore. There'd be one green bottle standing on the wall. Hmm. Zero's going! Where will one and zero go next? This could be trouble. What's the matter, Five? They're going to play five-a-side football. So? Don't you see? Five and five make ten. And one and zero might change ten kids into one. There they are! If they move apart, ten will turn into one. And most of the children will disappear. They're going to move apart. Keep one and zero together. Keep one and zero together. Keep together. More brain games! Keep together! <laughs> They're tired out! We did it! Come back now, Five, and bring One and Zero with you. Well done, Five. And what you did was very naughty, One and Zero. I don't think they really knew what they were doing. Well, we can see it on screen. That boy had a lot of grumpy mums. Ten of them. All those mops. And apples. And bowling pins. We spotted One and Zero. One and Zero together make ten. And lots of trouble, like ten footballs. Got one and zero apart, and everything was fine. But then they turned things that should be ten into one. We had to stop them. And we did. Right, let's finish off this game of hide and seek. One and zero are very good at hiding. One minute you see the numbers one and zero, then you see the number ten. Amazing. Can you count ten things somewhere on your body? And then can you count ten things somewhere else on your body? Let us know. Or any problems, call the number jacks. 